Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn and Virgo connection reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not, as that may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to get a romance angel as an overall energy for the reading. We're going to get, we're going to use the Alice in Wonderland tarot to look at what you may possibly be struggling with. We're going to look at what you may need to look at and then future energies that may possibly be coming in for you. We'll get some clarifiers and close out with an oracle. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, please feel free to check out the links down below. All right, so what we have as an overall energy for you is trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so is there a situation between the two of you where their tw trust is questioned, right? Or to trust that person in what it is that they say. All right, struggling with, we have the Six of Pentacles. Um, Six of Pentacles can be that balance, right? It can be that sharing, that communication. Um, kind of, she has, her, her face there is like, kind of like she has some worry on her face, like concerned about something. So again, that could go back to the trust. All right, what you may need to look at is the two of pentacles, is that as balancing things out. Sometimes we can have those insecurities about someone or something, but it's because we're bringing in past energies, because we're kind of bringing things in from the past, because maybe it's happened, something has ha negative has happened before, and we're like, maybe in this current energy, or maybe even with this person, like, oh, well, you know, that happened before, and I had this, and the result was negative and this ha this happened and, and I feel like it's something that you're bringing in from the past that, you know, is that affecting your current feeling or your current energy? Um, a future energy, we have the Four of Wands and that's a good thing because Four of Wands represent that partnership where you're working together, um, where you're on the same page, you have that partnership, you have that back and forth, and you have that good connection between the two of you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. So it could be that maybe you need some time to yourself to kind of sort th things through, but it also could be that are you shutting down that partner, right? Are you shutting down that other person? Are you kind of going in your little teapot and you're like, nope, I'm just going to be by myself because you're having trust issues and you're shutting down and you're putting walls up around you. That's not a good thing to do because that will create that distance. That will create lots of problems within this relationship. If you need time to sort through what it is that you're feeling and what are the, what is it that you need from your partner in order to get past it, that's one thing and make sure that you communicate and say, Hey, I need some time to myself to sort through this so that you keep those lines of communication open so that that other person is not feeling shut out, but you're saying, hey, I just need a few days to figure out how I feel. I'm not ready to talk about this right now, but I'm working on it, and then when I feel like I'm ready, I will let you know, and we can work through this. <coughs> That's very important as to how of that Four of Pentacles, how does that relate to you? Are you shutting down and putting up walls or do you need time to process? We have the five of pentacles, which is temporary hardship. Um, so this is something that is temporary. And I think that's a good thing that it is temporary because you don't want this to go on for a long time. This also could represent that if you're struggling with this, it could be, has this been going on for a while? Has this been building up for a while? And it's kind of just getting to the point where it's like ready to explode, right? Sometimes that happens. And we're just like ready for things to blow up. Um, again, struggling with the six of, of swords is which way do I go? How do I move on from here? How, I feel like it's, it's kind of like having that confusion of when we, don't, when we have trust issues, we're like, I don't know. Is this something that I have in my head? Or is this something that I'm bringing from the past? Is this, you know, am I overthinking? Um, where do I go from here? What do I do? I feel like there's a lot of anxiety. I feel like there's a lot of stress going on with here. You, because you're struggling with this King of Cups, 
Um, so I feel like it's those emotions and those feelings and you're struggling with how do I find that calmness? How do we get things back on track? What you need to look at is the Ten of Cups and what that is to you. What does that mean to you within this relationship? What is that Ten of Cups? Do you want to get things back on track? Do you want to get things to this calmness? You know, what does your Ten of Cups feel like in this relationship to you? Right? What does that feel like to you? Um, and then moving forward, Eight of Wands is how do you make this happen? How do you communicate this to your partner? How do you get to the point to where you feel like your Ten of Cups is met? What are those actions moving forward to get you to this Ten of Cups? Actions moving forward, perfect, Knight of Wands. It's not only thinking about what it is that you want, what it is, thinking about your Ten of Cups, <clears throat> but it's taking the actions for your Ten of Cups with this person. Hermit card, perfect. So that's the Virgo card. Future energy is Virgo. So I feel like it is working things out, having that partnership, right? But it's also about looking within and knowing that, hey, life takes twists and turns. Life has its backs back and forth. And within relationships, you have that back and forth. <coughs> and it's like how, do, how you handle those, those back and forths. within the relationship and how do you get past it? Do you ignore them and you let them pile up or do you face them and work through them? I feel like with this four of pentacles energy is like, you know, maybe you're trying, you've been ignoring them and now it's time to figure those out. <coughs> Definitely with the queen of swords is figuring that out, right? Cause she's one who comes up with solutions. And then we have the peacock where she's letting it shine, right? That she's feeling like she's got things under control and she's sorting things through and figuring things out and getting this four of wands back on track. And then we have the five of wands. So I feel like it's, do you want to fight for the relationship? And you have to figure that out yourself. Do I want to fight for this relationship or do I want to give up? Right? Do I want to fight for a ten of cups in this relationship or do I want to give up? This trust, does this trust have to do with this other person or does this trust have to do with myself? Do I trust myself? Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. So that emotional, this is emotional, right? When we have situations with our partners or other people, it's very emotional and it's exhausting. It's like up and down and what do I do and where do I go and how do I get past this? And it's always on your mind and it consumes you and then it's just like, oh my gosh. Time goes by so quickly and how much time do I want to spend being in this energy? Things can happen at any moment, right? Um, Things can change at any moment. And do we want to look back and say, oh my gosh, I spent so many months being in this energy, being in this Four of Pentacles energy and shutting myself off and not working through things. I've wasted so much time doing that. And I can't get that time back. And if I had just taken more of an effort to work through this, then I wouldn't have wasted so, many, so much time. But sometimes when we're in it, we don't really realize that. But sometimes you just need that person to say, hey, you know, don't let so much time go by. Yes, you're having trust issues, but again, like I said, is that four of pentacles of you communicating with your partner and, you know, saying, hey, I just need some time to work through this and then we'll talk about it? Or is it putting up those walls? Death card, which is Scorpio. What are you holding on to that you're not letting go of? right? What is it that you need to let go of? We have the horse, which is kind of trampling on this person. Um, but then it's about change, right? Once you let go of the old. All right. Again, five of wands. Do you want to fight for this relationship? Do you want to put the energy and effort into this relationship to make those changes, right? What are those things that you're holding on to? Does these wands represent trust, right? Is that something that you're holding on to? You still have a little ways to go and you still have some things to work through. But if you're making the effort to make those changes, then those will come around. Then those will happen for you. Making that decision, that two of swords, what do you truly want here? What do you want to have happen? If you make this choice, 
the results are on this side. If you make that choice, the results are on that side. Kind of looking at, okay, if I do this, then this will happen. How do I feel about that? If I do that, that'll happen. How do I feel about that? What is my Ten of Cups? Am I holding on to things that I need to let go of? Am I having trust issues that I'm holding on to, but I'm not giving that chance to work through it, and I need to turn this around, and I need to focus on this Two Cups here. I need to focus on the relationship. I need to focus on the positive things in the relationship. If there's stuff that I, three of cups that I need to work on, then I need to take the actions to work on it, to discuss it with this person so we can work through. We have the hangman seeing things from a different perspective, taking that time out and figuring out. And this is, this is what I was saying is figuring out how you feel, figuring out what actions you want to take and what energy that you will put into it. Not saying, yeah, I'm okay, I'm fine but then not doing anything about it. What are the actual actions that you will do to make those changes that you want to put in? Two of Wands is taking the initial first steps to make things happen. And again, like I was saying with Wands, is it, Wands are making it happen, not only thinking about it, but taking the actions to make it happen, to communicate with the person and say, okay, I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to sort this out. I'm ready to work this through, right? I'm ready to get this back on track. I want to work on this, right? I want the rewards of working on this relationship. I want the rewards of this relationship. I want the rewards of this partnership. I want this to be more balanced in this relationship. I want to build trust with you. I want to work on trust with you. I want to believe you that we'll get past this, if that's what you decide. Bottom of the deck, again, Ace of Wands, taking actions to make it happen having to take the actions to make it happen. Aces are new beginnings. So new starts for the two of you, I feel like. This is kind of a new start for you, a new... I feel like your relationship is leveling up here because you're confronting the issues, the problems, the insecurities. You're not going into your little teacup and hiding. You're like, okay, I'm going to confront this. I'm going to do... This isn't the easiest thing, but I'm going to do this because I want to fight for this relationship. I want to make this happen. Or if you want to walk away, like that's your choice. That's what you have to decide. But whatever it is that you, your decision is that you want to fight for your decision of what is your Ten of Cups for you. All right, so let's get an animal oracle. Oh, I love this one. So cute. Always reminds me of Hedwig on uh, Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Um, you see clearly now. I love it. You see clearly now. That's definitely what this, re this reading is, is you see clearly. You see clearly what your Ten of Cups is, and you see clearly the actions that you need to take to make your Ten of Cups happen. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.